Hey, hey, hey! This is Opa Rand Sisset, and today I am reacting to Solo a Star Wars Story Risk TV Spot. I didn't see this one yet. I wanted to react to the other ones, but I already saw them, so it wouldn't be a fair reaction, and it wouldn't be fun. So, I'm reacting to this one, totally don't know what's gonna be in it, so I'm very excited. So let's start. Three, two, one. Big shot gangster putting together a crew. You in? We had a long time for a shot like this. Well, that's a good shot. This is continuing on this theme of treachery scenes. It's, it's all like really treacherous and so on. It's really good. I really like how they make you doubt the characters. You know, let's see this again from here. Enjoy all the shots, the color panels, everything. Once again, I love that it's a good feeling, not a bad feeling like it usually is. Let's watch that again. It's 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 too great, like too great. So. Now I'm going to do a more of a review this time. Okay, so this shot of Chewie, Han, and uh, what's his name, Beckett, uh, walking into some the restaurant or something, like this shot of the man with the scars. Again, we've seen a lot of this. Like the new shots of Han, the extended uh, driving shots, of course. Oh. This is the shot that I was talking about, it's great. Um, I assume this is sort of uh, the, the Enthus Nest gang, where their hideout is, because it really seems like Han, Chewie and Beckett are sort of entering. Uh, now here we see Lando and um, the woman. And maybe it's just an editing mistake, uh, maybe they, but what is that? Is that his coat? Because it, it looks like a microphone that they use on sets to sort of give you a, a larger voice in the shot. Maybe they forgot to remove that or it went into the shot too much or I'm just nitpicking. Uh, the Millennium Falcon loved the introduction. Uh, a lot of new sort of shots of hand discovering the panels like them. Uh, now, he needs a particular type of pilot. Now, here L3, not L6, I was wrong, uh, asks you done flirting. Well, is it with the ship or what is he talking about? Again, the train looks great, the snow troopers, the action, yeah, yeah. These people are not your friends. Once again, it seems like the everything, Han is surrounded by treachery. It's either that Kira is a traitor or a spy, or that Beckett, like I thought in my prediction, is actually turning everyone against Han and Han against everyone because he's the evil guy. Yeah, here. Look, I mean, he looks evil here. He looks like a villain, at least. Then again, we see Lando, who is sort of not his friend because he betrays him, but I mean... Oh, I like this shot. Look, I just paused it here with uh, the... 
with this weapon cutting the um, the uh, bar thing. And who is it cutting it? Wait, I need to see it again. It's Beckett. I think this is the actual betrayal. Wait, is it Beckett? I think it is. Now Enthus Nest. Now again we see Beckett. Han, Lando. Lots of great shots. Lots of really good colors. So yeah, this was my reaction. I really enjoyed these TV spots. The first trailers really made me doubt about the movie. However, as we get more of them, I am uh, once again on the same level as, of excitement as I was in the beginning. You see, in the beginning I was really excited, then when the trailers came out I was not excited. Here I am excited because it's done really well and I really like it. Oh, poor Francis is...